Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you one of the drills I use in all of my performance classes that I call Number of the Beast. I came up with this drill when I was running the training for the Chicago SWAT team, and it was designed to really dial in the marksmanship fundamentals of my SWAT officers. The drill was fairly simple. From the 25 yard line on a standard USPSA target, I had the officers fire the following strings of fire, six rounds, with both hands, six rounds, strong hand only, six rounds, support hand only. There was no time limit to the drill. The acceptable scoring area was the A zone of a USPSA target. Anything outside of the A zone was considered a miss. This allowed me to really diagnose any issues they had with their basic marksmanship fundamentals before adding in speed to their shooting. I've modified the drill for my classes. Rather than having to walk back and forth from 25 yards, trying to see the perforations on the A zone on a USPSA target, having to check the hips, I brought the drill into 10 yards, and now I put one of these three inch white circle stickers in the high center chest. Now the acceptable hits are within that white circle sticker. Anything outside of that is a miss. Once again, there is no time component to this drill. There's no part time, there's no speed component whatsoever. This is purely an exercise in marksmanship. For my own training, I categorize this as what I call an experimentation drill. What I mean by that is the bulk of my shooting is speed and accuracy based. Because I'm not working on speed at all, this allows me to experiment with the fundamentals of marksmanship totally isolated from the other components of shooting that I have to add in. I think that this is extremely important because those weaknesses in your foundational technique will show the more stress and the more distractors you add into your shooting. So go to the range, give this a try, let me know what you think. Thanks everyone, hope to see you on the range soon.